feel the waves cut through me hypnotized Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanna share with you my three easy tips that I have for you guys. It's gonna allow you guys to switch between your handbags on a regular basis. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Natalie and I make fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos. If those videos interest you, then please consider subscribing below and please remember to ring the bell as well. And at the end, if you guys like my video, then please remember to give it a thumbs up. That would be great. So I switch my handbags definitely on a daily basis, sometimes even a couple of times a day. It really depends on where I'm going, what I'm wearing, what the weather's like that day, who I'm with, if I'm with my kids or not. So these three tips have really helped me use my handbag collection to its fullest, and I hope that they help you as well. Now my first tip for you guys is gonna be SLGs. SLGs keep all of your handbag contents grouped together and organized. Now keep in mind, they don't have to be Louis Vuitton SLGs. That's obviously a brand that I choose to invest in and collect. They don't even have to be luxury brand SLGs. All you need to do is find a brand, find a series of pouches that you like and try and collect as many multiple different size pouches as you can. So I wanna show you guys how I'm able to use my SLGs and how I'm able to seamlessly transfer from one larger handbag to a much smaller handbag on a daily basis simply by using the SLGs. So my first bag is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. This is in the MM size and I'm gonna be transferring then to my Louis Vuitton favorite in the MM size as well. Okay, so the first SLG that I wanna show you is my Louis Vuitton mini pochette. Now, this piece, when I use it in a large handbag, I use it strictly for essentials, also slightly like a junk drawer as well. I keep my feminine hygiene products in here. I have dental floss, medication, I have, I would keep band-aids in here, and right now I have some hair ties as well. So this is an item that I'm gonna be transferring to my favorite. So I actually just tuck this right down in there. Okay, so the next item that I have in my Neverfull is my Louis Vuitton cosmetic pouch. Now in a larger handbag, I'm able to use this and I do put in like all my daily essentials. Right now I have hand cream, a lip gloss, and I have um, my hairbrush as well that I have for my handbags. Now it's obviously too big to put inside a smaller handbag. Um, so the only items that I would then transfer out of this piece would be my lip gloss and like if I was carrying around like an eyeliner or something. So what I'm actually gonna do is place my lip gloss then inside my mini pochette. Now in smaller handbags, this basically doubles up not only for my essentials, but it also becomes like a cosmetic bag as well for me. This piece is a great starter piece. It's really very versatile. Okay, so I'm gonna tuck that back in to my favorite. Okay, so the next piece that I have inside is a large wallet. Now this is the Louis Vuitton Clemence wallet. It would technically fit inside the Louis Vuitton favorite, um, but it is gonna take up a lot of essential room that I would like to use for other pieces. So my suggestion then would be, in order to make smooth transitioning, is to have a compact size wallet handy. Now this is my Louis Vuitton Zippy Multicap wallet. I love this wallet. This honestly is such a great piece if you guys can get your hands on this I believe you can only find it now like on the pre-love market but definitely look into this wallet this basically gives me absolutely everything that I need and I love it for my small handbags because it fits in here so great and I can fit everything in here so I tuck it just down the side like this and you can see I still have quite a bit of room left inside this crossbody. Another suggestion that I have is to use a small pouch like the Louis Vuitton clay pouch and to put inside your driver's license, a bank card, your credit card, you can easily then just keep this inside either one of your handbags and use this strictly to transfer back and forth your essential cards. In that sense, you don't even need to do a wallet switch. So I am gonna stuff this inside here as well. Okay, so the next item that I'm gonna need to transfer over would be my phone. And this will tuck just right there behind the mini pochette. Okay, and then the next item would be my car keys. This is the Louis Vuitton key holder. And I place this just right in front of the mini pochette. 
Okay, so my last item that I had in my Neverfull is my sunglasses. Now the case is a little bit big to be able to put inside a smaller handbag. So I am gonna actually take them out of the case and I will just stick them on the top of the handbag like that and I have them right there sitting on top of the mini pochette. So that actually allows you to transfer everything really easily and really quickly from one larger handbag to another and doesn't necessarily have to be a large handbag to a smaller handbag but I just wanted to show you guys the size difference and how it is possible to do that quickly on a daily basis. Okay, so my next tip for you guys would be to have a handbag station. Now this would be an area where you can empty out all of the contents of your bags and store them until you're ready for the next day to fill your bag again. Now it should be in a central location. Uh, for me, it's in my closet on one of my shelves. It could be just in your room, on a desk, whatever works for you guys. Generally, it's easier if it's around where you guys store all of your bags. So you can use any tray or container that works best for you. I actually picked up this clear acrylic letter holder off of Amazon and I'll link it below for you guys. I use it in the sideways position on my shelf and then I'm able just to tuck in my SLGs standing straight up and it's super easy for me just to unload them into here. Keeps everything organized and then I'm able to see everything quickly for when I do want to fill my next bag. Okay, so my third tip for you guys would be to keep your handbags ready to grab. I have a window in my closet, so I am trying to protect my handbags from the natural light damage. So I keep them stuffed with air paper and then inside their original dust bags and then on the shelves in my closet. So they are properly protected and they are still easy and ready for me to switch out when I do wanna use them. If you don't have a window, you can actually keep them, I would still recommend that you keep them stuffed, but you can actually keep them directly out on your shelves which makes it even easier for you guys to switch out your handbags on a daily basis. So I hope that these tips help you guys. I know that they've made a huge difference for me to allow me to use my bags on a more regular basis. Plus, who doesn't need to be more organized? I know that I do. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video.